Now let's talk about motion paths. Motion path is a visual guide that it shows us exactly how our object is going to move depending on the keys that we set. Let's use this ball as an example. The first thing I'm going to do is set some keys. So I've got X and Y keys and we'll start that at the beginning. And the next thing I'll do is create another key a little bit farther in the timeline, just like this. So some more X and Y keys. You'll notice that for now we don't see the motion path. So if we want to see it, what we need to do is select the object on the timeline. And now you'll see that we have this line with all these dots. And uh, right now you can see that we're creating a straight line. Now the dots here, if you're thinking about this like traditional animation would represent a frame. So you can see that our frames are individually spaced. So that's how far the object is going to move every time we go one millisecond forward on the timeline. So remember, when you're looking at this line, the big dots that are at the start and the end represent the start and the end, and the smaller dots represent the spacing or how far the object's going to move uh, depending on the interpolation. If we add an additional key, then you'll see that the motion path continues and uh, it's going to continue to paint the picture of the motion that our object's going to go through. Now, if we want to stop seeing the motion path, we can just click off of the object and you'll see that it's disappeared. And if we want to bring it back, just remember you need to select the object on the timeline and boom, there we go. One of the great things about the motion path is if we update any of our keys, that motion path is also going to update. Now you'll notice that when we play the animation, the motion path disappears until the animation stops when it reappears. Now, if we want to keep the motion path visible as we play the animation, we need to go up to our view options menu and uncheck show final playback. Now you'll see when we play the animation back, the motion path stays visible. And one thing to keep in mind with the show final playback option is that it is toggled on by default. And when we play back our animations with that toggled on, things like bones, groups, and motion paths will disappear. So if you want to see all of your bones and things like that, make sure you keep that toggled off. But if you want to have a clean artboard and just see the artwork, toggle it on.